Abdul Hamid has been a shepherd for 25 years, but he's just about had enough. It's not the lifestyle, the hard work, nor the meagre pay that's frustrated him. It's the drought. In previous years, it was better. But the last two years, as you can see, we barely plant anything. Some people harvested, some didn't. It's as dry as far as the eye can see in Herat's districts. There's barely any fodder for the animals or anything else. Even though Abdul loves the land, he's about to leave it behind. I'll become a labourer. What else can I do? I'll stop being a shepherd and get work somewhere else. The drought has spread from here in Herat in the west to Kunduz in the north, but the effects are felt well beyond these areas. 70% of Afghans live rurally, and according to the United Nations, 80% of all livelihoods depend directly or indirectly on agriculture. This drought has come at the absolute worst time, not just for these farmers, but the people of Afghanistan. Most foreign aid is cut off and trade at the borders still irregular. Food insecurity has become a very real problem. The UN says more than half the population, 22.8 million people, will face food shortages by the end of the year. That means every turnip Noor Ahmad unearths from this field is valuable. Not in terms of money, he barely makes seven cents a kilo, but in a barren landscape, this patch of green is worth everything. This year, due to the high prices and drought, I didn't benefit from my family lands. I keep selling my sheep in order to feed my family and buy fertilizer for the crop. I had more than 50 sheep. Now I have only 20. I sold the rest. Herat is also the centre of one of Afghanistan's most valuable exports, saffron. Picking season has just ended and traders are busy buying, selling, inspecting. Businessman Moshfek Jami says the quality this year is exceptional, but quantities are not. It has completely changed this year. The price has increased about 30%. The drought last year, and also this year in Afghanistan, but also the drought in neighboring Iran, which is one of the biggest exporters, has caused harvest to decrease by about 80%. Without a major break in the weather, it's unlikely anything will improve, which leaves Afghans two options. Pray for rain, and perhaps even more urgently, help. Soraya Leni, TRT World, Herat.